Well, folks, we made it. It's the final day of the Nava Select Tournament, live from DF Barnes Arena for the second year in a row. It's the Southern Shore Breakers versus the Bay Arena Rovers in the final of the Alex Newhook Division. All right, well, Bay Arena and Southern Shore met already in this tournament. Southern Shore won that game 11 to three. Southern Shore got a bit of a fright earlier today. They only scored one goal in the first period against the Celtics. The Celtics came out flying in that game. Southern Shore beat them five nothing. Their lowest win margin of this tournament. Every game they've won by eight goals or more. So that's the first game that they've, you know, had a close battle, I guess you could say, with the team. They won 10 to two, 17 to one. I think there was another one, 13 nothing, and then 11 to three. So let's see what Bay Arena can do. They've caught on fire in the last couple of games of the tournament. They had a rough start. They did beat the Seabees to start off their tournament 14 to two. Then they fell short to the Cornerbrook Royals 3-1. Then they beat the host Avalon Celtics, which really propelled them on. And that's why they're in this championship game for the second year in a row. Ghouls Pacers slash Southern Shore Breakers in the final for the fifth year in a row. And they're looking to win it back-to-back -back years. We are underway for the Alex Newhook Division Final. My name's Seth Hyde. Glad to have you joining us for this game and throughout this wonderful tournament. 
Here's Crane, one player of the game in the semifinals against the Celtics today. Fished out to Diamond. Diamond shoots, a stop, rebound is there, and it's swiped away by King in front of the net. Diamond in front, Flynn puts it just wide. Backhanded out to the blue line. Sent in on net, goes down low, and it's King who's gonna try to get it. Diamond, one of the finalists for the Jamie Hines Memorial Grit Award. Sent back down low. Out to Janes. Janes trying to get it now off to the races is Parsons. Parsons hauls down Janes and it's Bartlett who's gonna try to get it. The winner of the Alex Newhook Division Jamie Hines Memorial Grit Award Trophy. He is the first ever winner in the Alex Newhook Division. So congratulations to him. And our winner in the Abbey Division was Lincoln Rose of the CBR Renegades. But again, just to be nominated for that award, 10 players out of 170 were nominated. So every player that got nominated got a certificate and a $10 Tim Hortons gift card. And the two winners got a championship ring style award. We were gonna go with a mini trophy, but we figured a ring would be much cooler for them to wear in the school and show off to their friends. They got to keep their certificate for nomination, $10 Tim's card and a $50 check to spend that on whatever they want to. So that award is now an annual award. So uh, Nate's name and Lincoln's name will be engraved on that trophy forever. Collins will win it out to the point. Whalen smacks one in on net. Now it comes free. Dean tried to get the shot off. And now back out in front. Picked up by Dean. He shoots and a save in net. Beautiful stuff by Roan Swain with 8.10 left to go in this first period. <laughs> Kept in out at the blue line. Duty moving in for the puck. Chipped out to center ice, and here come the Southern Shore Breakers. It's Halloran racing in, and it's an offsides call with 7.56 left to go. Halloran picks it up, and he gives it to Cody. Cody trying to bring it in. Southern Shore take it out to center ice and now it's Burke coming in with the puck. Burke has it and he brings it in. Burke curling across the top. Burke shoots, blocked. And where is it? Oh, it's there! And it's almost put into the back of the net by Halloran and the Rovers come up the other way. Here's Barrett moving on in to get the Rovers on the board first and a great defensive play. Now it's March. Backhands the puck in front. Barrett shoots and another big stop in net by Roan Swain. Here goes Cody up the other way. Two goals against the Celtics earlier today. Here he goes. Cody coming in to the backhand. Puts it on and it goes just wide. Sent out. Costello took a swipe. Icing waved off. Here's Walsh, turning back. Costello and Kelly open on the side. It comes over to Kelly. Kelly racing after it, and away he goes. Kelly going after the puck, it's Bartlett. Giving it away to Kelly. Now Kelly to Flynn. Flynn to the backhand, Diamond brought down, and away go the Rovers. Coming up the other way. Opportunity here to get on the board. First they shoot, and it is an offsides call. It's so loud in this building that you can't hear the whistles. And with 6.20 left to go, it's still 0-0. Comes over to the other side. 
Picked up by Boyd. He's gonna try to shovel it in and now it's Diamond. Caleb Diamond moving in on net. Diamond cuts back, fires it on, and it's blocked by Bartlett. And now here's Parsons. Trying to send it out, Costello will keep it in and fire it back into the zone. Now it's Murphy up the other way. Murphy leading the charge, he moves in. Walsh gonna poke check that puck. Here's Walsh, cutting up through the middle. Now he's starting to get going. Walsh with some beautiful moves. He's making his way in on net. Walsh comes in, takes the shot, and a great defensive play by Bartlett. Here's Kelly sending it in. James going after it. Comes over, and it's Cody to James. And sent ahead now. Crane looking to get a hold of the puck. Played ahead to Kelly. Kelly tried to bring it in, now James. Gonna try to shovel that puck in. Cody, James comes in with it. Now it comes out to James who fires. And it hits a body and now it comes out to center ice. Here goes Butler. Butler coming in, sending it down. It's James who's gonna get it. Pass ahead, and now here come the Southern Shore Breakers. It's James coming in to get him on the board. First he shoots, and the puck did go in the net, but after the whistle, so it is waved off, and with 4.30 left to go, it's still scoreless at DF Barnes Arena in the Alex Newhook Division Final. The Rovers were having a bit of trouble changing there. Cody will win it through. We talked about it earlier. Colby Cody got some uh, pretty good hockey genes in his family. He's related to Maddox Cody, who plays under 13 AAA with the Red Wings, who are going away to Atlantics on Tuesday. And Jamie Cody also related to Colby Cody. He had 102 points in 46 games with the Quinzel Millionaires of the RMJHL and played a season in the ECHL with the Florida Everblades and him and Maddox are in attendance for this game here this afternoon. Now Driscoll gives it over. Now Burke gonna backhand it out and away goes Colby Cody. Cody coming in and he's taken down Looked for a penalty, didn't get it. Now it's Drover. Getting the puck. Tried to send it up for Christie, and that's going to be an icing call with 3.23 left to go. Diamond will win the draw out to Walsh. He puts a shot on and is blocked in front by Bradbury. All the way around now, Walsh gonna send it in. Bradbury plays it over for Flynn. Now to the point, Walsh gonna step in and fire it on. Blocked by Whalen and a giveaway for Diamond, he scores! Caleb Diamond gets the first goal of the Alex Newhook Division Final. Caleb Diamond shining bright like a diamond. He puts that one into the back of the net. Southern Shore, first blood. Here's March, trying to come in with it. It comes back out to Bradbury. Now March, cycling the puck back in. It's Costello who's gonna get it. 
Up to Diamond. Diamond coming up the other way, and away he goes. He's looking for another here as Flynn goes to the net with him. Backhands it over, and a big defensive play by Bradbury. Kelly puts it on, shot blocked. Comes down to Flynn. Now Diamond's gonna grab it. Sending it in, turned over. Now Kelly trying to swing and fire it on on net. And now here come the Rovers up the other side. Bradbury moving in, still poking his way through. And now it comes back out to center ice. Here's Kelly. Coming in, takes the shot. It's fanned on and cleared all the way down as Crane is going to grab it. There's March. Moving on in, Ginchard gonna intercept the puck. Now it's Janes. Banked off the boards, comes out in front and a no-nonsense clearance by the breakers to get the puck down the ice for an icing call with 1.30 left to go in this first period of play. So 130 left to go in the first. Breakers with the lead. Rovers still pushing. Breakers haven't had it as easy as they had the first three days of this tournament. And now on this final day, teams coming in motivated to come beat them. They've been the bully of the Alex Newhook division. And not in a bad way. I mean, they've won it every year, been to the finals the last five years, won it last year. So they've got a dynasty on the go here. They have three titles and those five appearances. Sorry, two in those four, not the five. This is their fifth appearance, so they're looking to make it three, and that'll help them out. It's James from the corner. Jackson James puts it in, and it is 2-0 Southern Shore. Well, a finals rematch from last year between the Rovers and breakers, and just like last year, the breakers have got two in the first period of play. So pretty much a copy and paste of the uh, tournament last year. And it's Colby Cody turning it over to Barrett. Now Bartlett, oh, he takes the hit, and that's gonna be a penalty against Southern Shore. So for the first time this game, Bay Arena on the power play. So last year, the final score between Bay Arena and the Ghouls Pacers, uh, who was the team last year, it was five to two in the final. And last year, Southern Shore had two after the first period. So same script again this year. Let's see if the Rovers can get two here and maybe tie up this game in the second period or before the end of the first. Played out to center ice. Here come the breakers up the other way, it's Cody. Colby Cody moving in, he takes the shot, and it's covered up in goal with, should be 1.4 seconds left on the clock. And a great stop by Mason Bowring on the play. Diamond will win it back to O'Driscoll, and that's gonna do it for our first period. A thrilling first from both of these teams. Southern Shore, after a rough start, popping two late ones. Rovers on the power play for another minute 23 as we head into the second period of play.
Here's Diamond, trying to get it through. Now Collins coming up the other way. Banks it off the boards, here's Bartlett. Sends it in, now Costello will wind it back out. The last time Southern Shore made the finals and lost was in 2022 when they lost to the Cornerbrook Royals eight to three in the final of the Novice Select Tournament. It's Flynn with it, he'll send it out. Picked up and fired across, now Costello coming in for it. Mary Costello is related to under 13 AAA player Liam Costello of the Eastern Hitman. There's Bartlett going after it, lifting the stick, trying to take it in and intercepted and given away down low, Diamond. Knocks it off the wall. Now Walsh is going to get it. And he'll play it ahead. Fired back into the zone. Here's Dean walking in and trying to take the shot. And it goes down into the corner. Here's Costello. Giving away to Dean. He shoots and he's hauled down by Walsh. We're back to even strength. Diamond over to Walsh. Bartlett will keep it in and it's sent back into the corner. As Dean goes to lay on the pressure, there's a shot on net. Costello's gonna get it down low. Played out to Klo. Here's Klo racing ahead. King gonna make the interception and play it down the ice. There's Dean letting Drover go. Now it's Kelly coming back in. Grayson Kelly with the puck and Dean will muscle him off. Now it's James trying to take the puck. Here's an opportunity for the Bay Arena Rovers. It's Collins coming in. Can he get him on the board? And what a play by Crane. That's why he won player of the game against the Celtics. Here's Kelly around the outside. Oh, what a backhander just up through the middle. Now pass in front. Kelly's all alone and what a save. Oh my goodness, Mason Barring with a gorgeous stop. And now here goes Barrett coming in and again Crane with another desperation dive. Some nice moves from Barrett. Sends it in front of the net. Now it comes out to center ice. March with some beautiful moves. Here he goes. Jace March coming in. Barrett trying to get it. Now it comes to Cody. Colby Cody trying to get it out. Drover in there. Picked up. Barrett moves in on net. Now Cody. Has it down low. He starts to make his way up ice. Banks it ahead. And ripped back in by the Rovers. And here's Christie. Christie coming in and firing just wide of the net. Now sent up, Whalen looking forward, and now here come the Southern Shore Breakers. Halloran in from the corner, and it goes just wide. Up to Christie. And now away go the Rovers. March coming in. Cuts up through the middle, and puck swiped away by Burke. Now back in front, and a shot steered wide by Christie. Chip forward, intercepted by Klo. Now March is trying to get it. Here come the breakers up the other way. Burke flying up through the middle. Can he make it three? Burke shoots, and he makes it three. Southern Shore, three-goal lead with 5.40. Left to go. Okay, so we're gonna have our goaltending changes now for each team. Rylan O'Leary coming in. Great game from Roan Swain, shutout from him. 
And an awesome job from Mason Bowring of the Bay Arena Rovers, who made some big stops. And coming into the net is Connor McLean Bruce. By the way, folks, when we get the, uh, the winners on my Twitter account later today, we should tag the New Jersey Devils and Dawson Mercer because uh, Nate Bartlett played for Dawson Mercer's hometown team of the Bay Arena Rovers. So let's see if we can get him some uh, recognition. I, that just came in my mind, actually. He might get some recognition from the Devils and from local hero Dawson Mercer. So yeah, let's help get that out there and see if he can get a shout out from the Devils. Sent in front, goes up through the middle. Kelly gonna get it. Sending it back in, now it comes out to the point. Walsh moves in, fires it on, and here's Bartlett up the other way. Nate Bartlett moving on in. Bartlett comes in and it's an offsides call with 5.07 left to go. Here's Murphy, he's gonna fire it in. Now sent up ice, Bradbury. He's gonna shoot it back into the corner. Now here's Parsons with it again. Parsons curling across, now Diamond. Gonna take it up the other way. Diamond. Up through the middle, Flynn on his right side. Diamond comes in, and he's stripped off the puck. There's Diamond up to Parsons. Away goes Parsons up the other way. Parsons moving on in, and Crane going to try to slap shot the puck out, and he does. Here's Bradbury. Up to Kelly. And it comes out, the Rovers leading the charge. Here's Bradbury coming in. Bradbury racing, and he tried to get it over to Parsons. And that just goes into the corner. Now away go the breakers up the other way. Ginchard trying to get it. Kelly looking for it. And now here comes March racing in and firing and turned aside and net by O'Leary. Now here's Kelly. Kelly throwing it up. Pass ahead to Janes. And Janes gonna send it into the zone. And we will have an icing call with 327 left to go in the second period. Driscoll, gonna send it ahead. Breakers off to the races, it's a foot race. It's gonna be won by Colby Cody. Comes out to the point, and it's Liam Close gonna try to send it in. And we have an offsides call against the Breakers with 3.07 remaining. Here's Cody coming in and another offsides call against the Breakers. There's Burke trying to get it out of the crowd. Comes ahead, Klo. Trying to grab a hold of it now. Christie with Dean going to the net. Christie going to fire it on. Christie again, and he fanned on the shot. Now Breakers coming up the other way. Halloran moving in. Boyd going to try to get it. Halloran looked to grab it, and now Driscoll's going to get it. Sending it in, Halloran. 
Trying to nab the puck. Comes out on the Rovers. Drive up the other way. Here's Christie. Sends it down to Klo. Now Cody. Klo on the ground trying to get the puck free. Christie in there as well. He'll come away with it. And Christie a little bit slow to get to his feet. And now it's Cody taking off. Colby Cody coming in. Still trying to power through. And Butler will intercept as it goes down into the corner. Here's March. He sends it ahead to Butler. Now Diamond coming back in. What a pass. Here's Kelly. She scores. Madden Kelly. And it's a four goal lead for Southern Shore. What a great pass by Caleb Diamond. And Madden Kelly left all alone to roof that one into the top corner to make this a four goal lead for the Southern Shore Breakers. Here's Flynn now. Flynn coming in, backhands it in and he scores! Two goals in one shift for the Southern Shore Breakers. And it's Max Flynn going through everybody to make it a five goal lead in the championship game. Well, something about that second period for Southern Shore. They were up one nothing going into the second against the Celtics. Scored four goals in the second period. And now here later today, they were up two nothing after the first, and now they got three in the second period. That's seven second period goals in one day for the Southern Shore Breakers. Here come the Rovers now. March looking to get him on the board. Costello trying to take it away. Diamond going to bring it back in. There's Diamond. Look to play it out. Duty tried to keep it in. And now here goes Flynn again. Looking to get his line. A third goal in one shift. Can he do it? Oh, wow, what a stop by Connor McLean. Bruce, you gotta love it. Here comes March up the other way. March moving in, goes to the backhand, comes in and shoots, and O'Leary with a save at the other end of the ice. He'll cover it up with 22 seconds left to go. off one down low Murphy plays it in here's Janes sends it up ice now it's Ginchard Bradbury fights hard to keep the puck in and he'll send it down low now Murphy trying to grab it it comes to Kelly Kelly takes it up and that's going to do it for a second period final score after two five for the breakers none for the rovers So final 10 minutes of the season for these kids. Southern Shore looking to go back to back. Bay Arena looking to get revenge for last year's finals loss.
We are underway for our third and final period of the season and of this Novice Select tournament. What an amazing tournament it has been. Here's Murphy, lifted the stick of Bartlett. Now Parsons sends it ahead, Bradbury. Coming back in, Bradbury dancing his way in. And here he is with the backhander on net, turned aside and it's Jaynes who has it down low. Burke trying to play it out, goes back into Jaynes. Out to Whalen, backhanded in. Turned aside and it makes its way out. Now it's Cody. Here's Colby Cody. Gets it out to center ice. Bradbury will chip it off the boards. Now it's Bartlett. Bartlett coming in. Brings it back. Takes the shot on net. Takes a bounce and a big save by O'Leary. Now here's Klo. Down behind. Plays it up ice. Bradbury. Trying to get it now, here come the Southern Shore Breakers. It's Colby Cody, and all alone, he shoots a stop, and McLean Bruce is gonna play it. Here come the Rovers charging up the other side. Leyland plays it in, sent back down the ice, and it is gonna be an icing call. Breakers looking to clear. It's Kelly. Out to center ice, kept in. Boyd trying to get it now. It's Caleb Diamond coming in on net to make it six for the Breakers. He shoots and you betcha. Six for Southern Shore in the final. Here's Costello, sending it in for Flynn. Flynn, up the other way, Diamond. Gonna go after it, it's Collins now. Who has it down behind the net now, he's starting to take it out. Diamond coming in. Here's Dean, plays it out to center ice, Costello gonna get it. Diamond, coming back in, Collins racing after him. Diamond moves in on net, shoots, gets it again, and puts it just wide of the net. Here come the Rovers up the other way. It's Collins racing up through the middle. Collins comes in, and he couldn't get the shot off. Now trying to backhand it in front again. And it's cleared down the ice by the breakers. And now a breakaway. Kelly right off the bench and on the board. Yes, that puck is in the net. It's Grayson Kelly who will make it seven for the Southern Shore Breakers. There's Kelly again. Moving in for his second, comes back out. So the two Kellys with a goal, Grayson and Madden, both got one in the gold medal game. And here's Kelly coming in again. Comes out to Ginchard. He'll fire it on, and they score! It's Ginchard, I think, who's going to get credit for that, and it's 8 nothing Southern Shore.
Sent down low into the corner. Icing waved off. Now it comes around the boards. It's Ginchard who's going to fire it in. It comes in front and they score. It's Kelly with another. And it's nine for Southern Shore with 6.26 left to go. Sent ahead, takes a deflection down the ice as Halloran and Cody lay on the pressure. Now bounces out in front, Halloran to Burke. Halloran gonna get it again. Now up the other way come the breakers trying to make something happen. It's Cody up to Murphy, sent into O'Driscoll. Kept in by Halloran, and now Bartlett gonna try to get it. Here's Klo, up ice, and it's slapped back down. And here comes Cody, and Halloran, Bartlett gonna intercept. Bartlett now going back in for it. Here's Bradbury. He'll swing it all the way around, Burke. Gonna nab it on the wall and twist and turn away. Now it comes in front, Halloran puts it on and scores. And it's 10 for Southern Shore in the final. Murphy. Coming up, O'Driscoll, fans on the clear. Now here's Cody. Up to Halloran, and now Cody's gonna get it again. Here's Halloran. Coming up the other way, and Parsons up to Klo. Klo comes in, and offsides call with 4.55 left to go. Here come the Rovers up the other way. Diamond now to Boyd. Boyd moves in. Dean going to keep it in out at the point. Goes down low to Costello. Over to Walsh. Walsh sends it ahead. Boyd went to take a swipe at it. Now down low to Costello. Costello sends it ahead to Kelly. Dumped in by Butler. And here comes Diamond up the other way. Diamond moving in. Diamond still trying to take the puck. Now Butler is going to get it. Lovers come up the other end of the ice. Here comes Boyd. Moving on in. And now Breakers get the puck again. And away goes Walsh. Busting up through the middle, here he goes, and an offsides call. With 3.52 left to go. It's like George Ash is being called to the principal's office. He's being called down to the penalty box. So if anybody got a George Ash on text or anything like that, let him know he's wanted at the penalty box at DF Barnes Arena. So it looks like Riker King going to the box. Two minutes for a trip.
And with 3.44 left to go, Breakers on the power play. Kelly off the draw. Back to James. Now Kelly again with the shot blocked by March. Turn over to Ginger. Now up to Drover. Drover coming up the other way, sends it into James. And now here comes Kelly. Kelly racing in alone to make it 11 for the Breakers. And he rings the post and it bounces down into the left corner. Now sent back out in front. James. Gonna fire it in to Ginchard. Ginchard tried to backhand it on and Rovers trying to take it up to at least get one here before this game is over. Here's Kelly and he scores. And there's his hat trick to make it 11 for Southern Shore. Coming in on net, shot goes just wide by Halloran. Now back down low, Halloran with it again in front and a shot goes just wide by Burke. Now back out in front to Colby. Cody who puts it on and a big save by McLean. Bruce and they've got another one. It's 12 for Southern Shore in the final. And it was Halloran who's gonna get the goal and O'Driscoll, Southern Shore fans were cheering and O'Driscoll goes, cut it out as he skated over. Well, pretty sportsmanlike from him to do that at such a young age. Bartlett gonna win it back. Here's Halloran, trying to bring it in. Rovers looking to take it ahead. Bradbury up through the middle. Halloran gonna get it. Now he tries to take it back in. Bartlett brought down, and that's gonna be a penalty against Colby Cody. That's a tripping call with 2.16 left to go. Handed on, it goes down low to Bradbury. Now here's Klo. Plays it out, Bradbury gonna keep it in and flick it back down low. Comes around, Kelly trying to break it out. Bartlett comes in. Again, Rovers just looking for one goal here in this one. That would do for them. Out to the point, Bradbury. He'll shovel that one back in. Shot blocked by O'Driscoll. And he'll swing it around. Parsons dumps it back in and we got a penalty coming up against Chloe. He's going to the box for a trip. And it'll be five on three for a minute 22. Goes down into the corner. Bradbury spins and plays it in, and now it's Flynn who's gonna get it. Flynn chips it out to center ice. Bradbury's gonna take it. Bradbury sent ahead. Walsh gonna bring it back in for Southern Shore. He's making some beautiful moves in on net. Walsh now steps out front, takes the shot, and that one's blocked. As the Rovers look to bring it up the other way. And just a minute left to go now. Parsons coming in. Taken down by Walsh. Flynn has it behind the net. And he'll send it out. Here's Costello. And a great 
defensive play there, shorthanded. Rovers got three players left all alone, and here's Kelly for his fourth of the game, and a big save in net by McLean Bruce. Here are the Rovers now with 30 seconds left to go. Can they end the shutout? Collins flying in to score for the Rovers, and a big save by O'Leary. Huge stop to keep the shutout for him and Roan Swain. And now here come the breakers in, and it's an offsides call with 13 seconds left to go. Kelly trying to send it in. Rovers looking for one here as Collins moves in. Christie going to the net. It's cleared away. And for the second year in a row, the Southern Shore Breakers are champions of the Alex Newhook Division of the U9 Selects Tournament. It's a dynasty now in their fifth straight final. They've won three in five years and two in a row. One of the most dominant teams we've ever seen in this tournament. A congratulations to Southern Shore and Bay Arena making it to their second straight final. What a great tournament from them. It looked like they were going to finish in fourth place at the start of this weekend. But they rally behind. They got hot towards the end and they made it to a final and put up a great fight against the Southern Shore Breakers. So a great job from Bay Arena. I'm sure Dawson Mercer are very proud of this Rollers team again this year. So Isaac Dean with a great game in the final. Good effort from him. Player of the game honors in a championship game. Well, a big shutout for him. Rylan O'Leary, player of the game for the Southern Shore Breakers.
Nate Bartlett, our Jamie Hines Memorial Grit Award champion.
Brit Award nominee and finalist, now a gold medalist with the Southern Shore Breakers. Other half of the shutout, Roan Swain. Great game from him. Number 21, Mason Future. Well, there's the moment that means the most, the banner and the trophy. Southern Shore go back to back. Oh, my goodness. Ginger takes a spill, trips up in the banner. That's probably the best way to fall over your championship banner. Congratulations to Southern Shore on back to back championships of the U9 Selects Tournament. Well, folks, that concludes another minor hockey season. Thank you so much for all the support throughout the year. Still one more tournament to go, and that is the Royal Newfoundland Regiment Memorial High School Hockey Championship, and that will be covered on Rogers TV. Lucky enough to be a part of that again this year. But in terms of minor hockey, 
This is it for the season. It's gone by in a blink of an eye. Folks, thank you so much for the support. Be sure to be kind to one another. Stay safe. We'll see you next season. Have a great, fun, and hopefully warm summer.